Well, doctors are starting to notice long-term health effects months after a person tests positive for COVID-19. They're called COVID long haulers, and it doesn't matter how bad they got it when they got the virus. News Channel Line's Julia LeBlanc spoke with a cardiologist and someone going through it right now to try to get some answers. As a single mom of three, Mara Dummett has her hands full, but she can't juggle as much as she could before battling COVID. Due to having COVID, I developed um, my left ventricle and my heart was inflamed. And because my work is so strenuous, I wasn't able to go back. Mara tested positive in December, but still can't walk a flight of stairs without running out of breath. She's seeing different doctors, but getting limited answers. That's just not who I was before. I was always somebody that just kept going, did everything, you know, to my full potential, and now it just kind of hindered that a little bit. But Dummett isn't the only one. Dr. Russell Silverman with St. Joseph's Health says he's starting to see younger patients, ranging from 20 to 50 years old, experiencing these long term health effects because of COVID, lasting anywhere from six months to even longer. It's usually palpitations, heart racing, dizziness, short of breath. Even if you measure their oxygen level, it's normal, but they have the sensation of shortness of breath. Add loss of taste and smell, brain fog, and digestion issues to that list. Dr. Silverman says it's too early to know how to treat this, but looking at preliminary studies, he thinks he knows why this is happening. Young people have a very active immune system. And so very old people, 80s, 90s, have a somewhat reduced response to inflammatory stimulus. It's frustrating, but Dr. Silverman says don't give up. I mean, I'm here, I'm alive, and know plenty of people who've lost parents because of it, so I cannot imagine that. Instead, she's imagining a COVID-free future. Julia LeBlanc, News Channel 9. Dr. Silverman says he wants these patients to know they're not alone and symptoms should eventually go away. But don't ignore them right now. Call your health provider, push for answers, seek help.